Hi beautiful people! So before I dive into this video, uh, A, I apologize for the flickering lights overhead. I'm in the garage because my adorable husband is sleeping right now. I don't want to wake him. But I want to let you guys know, I decided on a name for my leg. Uh, so many of you guys sent in amazing suggestions. So many of them like made me laugh and made my day, so thank you for that. There were tons of votes for Peggy or Peggy Von Leggy uh, or just Peg the Leg, which I loved. Uh, Luke, Luke Skywalker, like walking. Get it? Uh, it was a really good one too. There were just I, more than I can like even think of. If you ever want to like laugh, go through the comment section on that video. But the winner, and it was one of the first comments, and I could not stop laughing because I'm super lame, and it's a great name. Is drumroll, please, Christopher Walken. Uh, thank you to this amazing user slash subscriber who sent in that name suggestion for my leg. It will forever be Christopher Walken. Thanks to you. Uh, I love the name. I love you for suggesting it, and thank you everybody for your amazing name suggestions. Without further ado, let's dive into a much less chipper and upbeat video. Hey guys, it's Joe and Bridget. I am back home in Colorado, and I've been sitting here in this room with little Bridget and the other rats debating filming this video for the past many minutes, hours, a day and a half if we're totally honest. Um, I have a lot of footage from my trip in Indiana, which was just so needed, so necessary, and so wonderful, but I don't know that I'm actually going to publish any of that because a lot of it um, was me talking when I was in a very dark place, and I am not against sharing footage when I'm in a dark place. I spent so much time with good friends, which was so needed and so refreshing, but I've noticed that over the past few days, there's been a lot of depression like settling in, and it's, it's really been over the past couple of weeks. I feel like as I've gotten out of survival mode post-surgery, um, I become aware that my mental health is like on shaky ground and I get scared putting out a video like this because I don't want people to be like, oh, you're just being negative or we want you to be positive or like, it's fine, everything will work out because, I don't know, not that I can't handle comments like that and I'm sure that there'll probably be some, but um, I'm very well aware and uh, well informed on what depression in my life looks like because I've struggled with it for years and I've fought it for years and I've been in counseling for it and for other mental health issues for quite some time. And it's, I've, I've effectively fought it for a while and now it's back and it's heavy uh, and dark and the slightly scary kind that I don't like. And I'm used to having words for what I'm feeling and why I'm feeling it. I've spent a long time fostering at least the beginning of self-awareness so that I could get my brain in a healthy place from past traumas completely unrelated to anything about like my leg or my physical health. Um, and I think I naively thought that a lot of that, or if not all of it, would translate over into life post-surgery dealing with amputation. I think some of it probably does, but I'm finding that right now I'm floundering and I want to have the answers and the words for, oh, this is what I'm feeling, this is why I'm feeling it, it's okay that I'm not okay right now, and then just like feeling that for a little bit and then moving on. And that's not where things are. I am like in a dark place, I don't have words for that, and that's just how things are. And that's very uncomfortable and in some ways kind of scary. And um, I debated filming this video because I don't want to present like a dark view of life. But the reason I started this channel, like if you go back to the first videos, I wasn't even certain that I was going to publish any of these videos because this was initially started to help me process through all of this and the secondary reason was to like share it with everyone in hopes that it could help anyone else and so um, I didn't start this to be quote unquote positive and not authentic and so hey I'm just gonna let you guys know that right now things are difficult, things are a little challenging and I am absolutely getting help, I have good people around me um, who I need to remember to reach out to sometimes because, you know, if you know anything about depression, it makes you isolate yourself and curl up in a ball and not want to talk to anyone, ever. 
and I have a good therapist who's very helpful and is helping me through this, but I knew that this was going to be challenging. Please don't get me wrong on that. Like I was not so naive to think that like, oh, I'll just be in a little bit of physical pain after surgery and everything will be fine. I knew that this is gonna be a challenge to adjust to, but now that I'm being faced with that reality, I'm realizing that yeah, it's like, it's pretty hard. Um, and it's not like things that I thought it would be. Like it's not going out in public and having people stare. Like that's fine, it's kind of funny sometimes. Like I really don't care about that. It's not like body image changing. Um, that's odd, that's different, that's weird, but like it's okay, it's whatever. It's, it's something else, it's something I don't have a name for yet. And if I ever have a name for it, I will let you know. But right now it's just kind of hard to move. It's hard to breathe, it's hard to do anything. I don't have um, motivation for life. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop living. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop doing things. I'm going to continue. I'm gonna continue um, pushing forward and taking the steps that I need to take to get to a better place physically, mentally, emotionally, in every regard, but, um, but it's hard. <laughs> She's so sweet. She always knows how to make me smile. So I guess what I'm saying is things are hard right now. I will be okay. I have help in place. Um, but I just wanted to be honest and say that I am struggling and that this is not all easy and that's just the reality of things right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, but I do wanna let you know, sincerely, I will be okay if anyone is concerned. Um, I am aware of at least the basics of what's going on and that is depression is uh, A, a dangerous thing, B, kind of scary, and C, I need to get help to make it through because I've been in a similar place before. So um, I'm taking the steps that I need to take to deal with it. And some of those steps involve, for me, like I said, getting therapy. Therapy is awesome. It's not easy, it's not fun, but it's super important um, for me to be able to deal with things in a healthy way and not put things in boxes or isolate myself or start dealing with things in an unhealthy way. Secondly, uh, let the people around me know what's going on. Um, like my husband, I talk to him a lot and he's great and some very close friends, I talk to them and they're great. It's not always easy to do, like I said, but I do it. And thirdly, I'm gonna continue journaling like I'm going to do right now after I hit stop recording on this camera because that is very necessary for me to be able to, like I said, process things in a healthy way. I know that's one thing that works, so even though I don't feel like doing it, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do that right now. And so on that note, I'm gonna hit the stop recording button and um, attend to what I need to attend to, but I wanted to thank you guys for listening. Thank you for all of your messages and your comments and your support, you're truly amazing. And um, thanks for being there. Let me know if there's any questions that I can answer for you guys. And um, like I said, I didn't make this video to like worry anybody or get sympathy or anything like that. Like I, I am aware to some extent of what's going on. I know that I've been in a similar place before and that I need to work through it. It's just not comfortable or fun. And I did want to be honest because um, parts of this journey are not cool. They are not fun. A lot of it is interesting and cool and fun. I'm gonna make it great and I'm gonna rock it. But today is not a day where I feel that way at all. Thankfully, tomorrow is another day, and I will work towards that. So, please take care of yourselves until I see you guys next time, and I look forward to that. Bye, guys.